In the shadow of the Snowdonian mountains lies Bodnant Gardens. Thousands of visitors flock each season to admire hundreds of exotic rhododendron plants. Martin Puddle, the head gardener at Bodnant, comes from a long line of rhododendron experts. None of these rhododendrons which you see here are native to this country. They were brought in in the 1930s, 1940s by the plant collectors who went to the western Himalayas and areas of China and they brought the species. These early plant collectors could have had little idea that the seeds they were introducing were a potential ecological time bomb. Collected for their beauty, these exotics soon took root in stately homes like Bodnant. But one particular species, Rhododendron ponticum, its seeds blown by the winds, eventually escaped over the garden wall. Rhododendron was probably introduced into gardens of large estates like this one as an ornamental, like these beautiful bushes behind me, and then effectively spread from places like this into the open hillside. This encroachment of rhododendrons into the park has been surveyed. By marking them in red on a map, what is clear and worrying to Rod Gritton is the proliferation of new colonies spread by the prevailing winds. Each of these clusters of flowers produces 10,000 seeds, so a bush this big is going to produce well over a million. The seeds are very, very tiny, they're wind dispersed, and as you can see, they're spreading at an alarming rate over this area. In the battle for domination, the first weapon of the rhododendron is prolific reproduction. The thousands of individual seeds contained in these pods have little energy invested in them from the parent plant. Their chances of survival are minimal. Successful reproduction depends on their sheer numbers. It's a boom or bust strategy. At the end of the summer, the dried seed pod cracks open and Snowdonia is bombarded with millions of seeds. Light and aerodynamic, the seeds are easily carried on the wind. Enough will land on fertile ground to produce the next generation. 